segment three. Now, if you watch segment two, <laughs> are you a little bit uh, are you wiping confused? Down a little bit? Yeah, you might frustrated. be confused. Yeah, you're frustrated. <laughs> angry. Confused. You're angry. You're mad. Think we're idiots. Mm, I don't know. Check, check, I don't know. Check. Anyway, like I always say, the only reason why it's cheating is because someone's excluded. If everybody's included, it ain't cheating. That's what they say. I wouldn't know. Because like I say, there's no such thing as a good, perfect situation. Mm -mm. Believe me. Okay, let's get into segment three. Now, uh, we kind of get a little bit into some hot topics. And today... It's all lately on the news about the Russians there, Andy and Rose. Those damn Russians have, you know, hacked in. And uh, what, we're ha what we're seeing now on the political sides, and everything has to be sides, right? And mm -hmm. believe me, if the rules were reversed, it'd be the exact same of thing. Of course. Okay, so basically, let's go back in time. Uh, if you remember correctly, we'll go back in time, is um, we had heard all through the summer mm -hmm. that in October... All these emails were going to be coming out from WikiLeaks. Okay, we heard it all summer long. And sure enough, in October, which was the exact <laughs> same time as the Trump tape hit, isn't that funny? Yeah. Which they were holding forever, mm. waiting for October, because they knew on October we had all these emails coming out that WikiLeaks had gotten their hands on from somebody. Somebody, yes. Which, um, throughout the campaign, it was the Russians, and uh, we don't even know if these are true or not because the Russians are the ones that are hacking into these entities and giving these emails to WikiLeaks, which is putting them out. Now, I will admit, mm -hmm. and all my, all my Hillary friends, you're going to love me because you know I've been kind of beating her over the head for a year. I would, at the time, was thinking, why is it only her? Mm -hmm. You know, why is it every day it's her bad crap, which is bad kind of just enforced the idea that this woman's kind of a corrupt chick but at the same time i was thinking why is it only her and if i was a hillary supporter i'd be asking why is it only us that's getting all this stuff pounded out every day dragging our numbers down so i think that is a solid question if i were a democrat or a hillary clinton supporter i would be asking why is it only us well now Fast forward after the election, Hillary Clinton, of course, is our president, right? Wrong. Everybody thought that. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know where you were on election night, but I was literally, my jaw was on the floor, quite honestly. And now we're kind of coming out with, well, now we have to do an investigation because we feel kind of like what we did before, but mm -hmm. we we thought Hillary's going to win, so right. we don't care. But now that she lost, we care. Sure. Um, that the Russians influence the election. Now, here's what I think. <laughs> here's what I think. I would not be surprised at all if the Russians had hacked these entities and gave these emails to WikiLeaks. I would not be surprised at all. However, I will say, I don't really think it really mattered that much. I think it was kind of baked into everybody's psyche that these emails were coming from somewhere. But I think it was more, but they're true. Mm -hmm. It isn't like we made these emails up. Right. It isn't like we know there's not trust issues here. Her trust issues have always been bad. Always, from day one. But the question is, the question to me would be, if I was a Hillary Clinton supporter, were these emails being out every day? I'm all about marketing. I'm all about campaigns. I'm all about you know, persuading people to either hire Ann Dean Rose, <laughs> buy this product. That's what I do for a living. Mm -hmm. So the question is, this continuous pounding every day, did it change enough minds in certain states where maybe Trump won, which we're all shocked that he won, Wisconsin, Michigan, mm -hmm. Pennsylvania, did it flip a state? Yeah, I think a lot of people voted just against her because of all this. I mean, again, I've always said we live in a sheep society. Everybody mm -hmm. kind of follows and listens instead of really researching and understanding right. the facts for yourself. That's right. That is a truism. That's a million dollar point of the day Absolutely. right there. It, it, with everything that they pounded against her at the very end, how could it not change minds? I, I mean, and now what we've got December 18th is the electoral vote right. and president-elect may not be yeah. and now the russians you know cnn today was talking about you know putin and what he's doing and how scandalous it is i mean the emails are there they're fact plain and simple why did they come out when they did did the russians have something to do with it until you can prove right 
prove it. Give me facts. Don't don't assume. Don't say they. We think we think is not fact. I assume right. is not fact. Well, it's interesting because I don't think it. Like I said, they did not go in and switch votes in a voting machine. Right. They just were basically a campaign agent. But let's be mm -hmm. honest. Now I'm an independent. Uh, you know, Andine is a Democrat, but not a liberal Democrat. She's kind of an old school Democrat. So, but it isn't like. Our Democrat friends didn't have any weapons against Mr. Right. Trump. I mean, they pretty much called him, you know, <laughs> a rapist, uh, yeah. a child molester. Yeah. They had him on tape saying, "I'm going to grab this good uh, this girl's uh, shanana, -na, and I'm going to they they just let me do it because I'm rich." I mean, there was a lot of stuff being pounded about Mr. Trump every day. Yeah, and, but all the stuff that they were pounding about him happened so long ago. That is a true. Nothing point. was w within the last year or two. No, I mean, th correct me if I'm wrong, but none of the garbage that they had on him happened within the last two years. No, it was, all, you know, very long time all, ago, and uh, hey, he's Rich, an ass grabber. I, mean, I, I, I think he is an ass grabber. He is. I mean, come on. Be let's go back to the days where, you know, women laid on the couches to get roles for everything, to get a job. You you did what you did to get your job. Right. It doesn't make it right, and I'm not no. a Trump supporter. No. But nothing they held against him was recent I'm you know and then as a woman when I when I hear the tapes of Hillary when Bill was being accused of raping right and he's and she's you know like destroy these women you kind of lost me there now I understand that that did happen in the past right. so a little bit hypocrit hypocritical of what I'm saying again with Trump however as a woman to hear another woman want to destroy another woman you lost me. You lost. So that was a big deal for you. That was a big deal that for me. That was a big deal for you. So anyway, I guess to get back on point, we only got about three minutes left of this segment. I I will tell you, Danny Vegas, you know, an independent voter. I do tend to lean a little right because I was just came out of the Reagan Revolution and when I was a young man, so I, that's where I came from. But the deal is, I can I do believe some high-powered entity. Mm -hmm got into these emails and funneled them to WikiLeaks. I don't think it was like some dude that can't get, uh, you know, couldn't get laid in the morgue in his right. house uh, sitting there like, oh, I've, I got nothing better to do, so I'm going to do it. I don't think that happened, okay? But the question is, did it change the results? I don't think so. I think it just drove down a negative on her that was mm -hmm. already there. Already there. That's why with Trump, we all... You know, everybody knew Trump was an ass grabber. Mm -hmm. You know, we knew Trump was kind of a... Loose cannon. Loose cannon. We knew that. Yeah. So I think it was all kind of baked in. We all knew about the Russians during the campaign. Mm -hmm. So I have a, my, my Hillary Clinton supporters, and I love you. You know what? I think you just better concentrate on, A, let's just beat this guy in four years. Mm -hmm. That's what you got to do. You just got to beat this guy in four years if you can do it. If everything works out the way he wants to, he's going to be hard to beat, just like most incumbents mm -hmm. are. But it can't be done. He is going to be like 74 years old yeah. and it's time for re-election. That's what you can concentrate on. Kind of get out of this total far-left mm -hmm. mentality and worrying about three bathrooms at, an, at, at a school. Mm -hmm. and start worrying about these hard-working people out there that basically voted for you for decades mm -hmm. and gave up on you this time. Yeah. I mean, and, you know, whether the Russians had anything to do to do with the leaks or not, you know, Trump won. Yes, we've got the electoral vote coming up on the 18th. Oh, they may or may not, you know, he may yeah. or may not be our president, whatever. I think as a society, we really just need to become united. I respected him when he chose not to take a salary. Right. He's not going to get paid you to know, be president. You know, that's kind of a big deal for me. Yeah. Kind of pushed me over like, oh, a little like meter there. Right. Um, I think personally, my opinion is he's so arrogant with being the best, doing the best. Maybe that's what we need for you four know, years. <laughs> Maybe we kind of need I, that for four years. I believe in the, the democratic process, and he won. I will support my president. I will stand up and respect my president. I may or may not agree with things that he does, but I will respect him, and right. I will fight for the greater good. That's right. I'm not going to fight against him being my president, and that's what people need to get out of that mentality. That's right. Whether the Russians leaked it or not, Hillary's demise, it, it was kind of baked in a long time ago. But it, you know what? It will always be an interesting topic. It is mm. going to be one hell of a four-year ride. Yeah. We'll be back for segment four right after this.